Hey, what's up YouTube, Scarebadger here, and we're back on day 33 of our Conflict of Nations Let's Play series. Now, once again, I am recording the audio for this video in post, so if it sounds a little off, there's a little bit of tense issues, that's why. So, over the last couple of days in this game, we invaded what was, I believe, what remained of the Netherlands and Belgium, and as you can see here, we have captured it. Now, this was the first stage of our a planned attack on Germany, East Germany to be exact, which you can see happening here. So once we took out these provinces and these two AI nations, it gave us a little bit of a foothold and gave us time to s spread out and actually set up for properly invading Germany instead of going through three, well, two countries to get to one. So broken down into steps. As you can see down here, I'm going for a very similar strategy to the one I employed when I was fighting Great Britain. As you can see, my ear mobile infantry has been deployed, and I've got my strike wings out, spotting out targets, and launching missiles to destroy them. So, that's basically the plan. My ear mobile infantry moves very quickly, capturing provinces covered from the ear. Now, I do have a few heavier units in and behind and they are just in case I do meet a stack and really the main purpose is to defend. Air mobile infantry as some of you more experienced players will know is not necessarily the best unit on defense. It's capable but it's not an ideal unit to have so those stacks of tanks and regular infantries are the way to go. As you can see I'm also using my fighters and interceptors uh, to support this invasion on the ground. Now at this point I'm unaware, uh, and I am under the assumption that Germany does not have any aircraft, although I am later proved wrong. So at this point, my fighters and interceptors are supporting by attacking infantry units on the ground. The reason why they're going for infantry is they can deal slightly more damage. As you can see there, putting some of my artillery into use before carrying it on and moving it to the location it needs to be. So the rest of this video is just filled basically with my overview of how the battle goes for like the next six minutes. So there isn't really much more to talk about because obviously for you guys that play the game, you know that everything takes hours literally. So I mean six minutes time that interceptor is going to move like enough. Six minutes in that direction, wanting to be close to base, and I, you know, nothing much is going to change. So I'm going to speed up the footage I have left, and uh, we'll probably all whiz by right underneath me talking right now. So, um, yeah, not really much else happens at this point. Uh, in the next episode, there's a little more action, and I'm pretty sure it's a little more further into this invasion. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.